Yo, what's up guys? Back again, sitting in the shop. It is icing out today. Um, getting a couple inches of ice, sleet, uh, a little bit of rain. This weekend actually is supposed to be pretty nice. It's going to be 63 degrees on Christmas. So, uh, hope everybody enjoys that. In the Midwest, it's supposed to be nice and warm. Today we're going to be doing a deep water combo. Um, this is a combo I use quite a bit down in Kentucky Lake, Lake of the Ozarks, um, even up north some. It is going to be my football jig ride. It is a, check it out, it's a Dobbins DX784C, so it's a 7 foot 8, 4 power. It is a uh, 12 to 25 pound, quarter to 1 ounce ride. It's a fast action ride. I've got it paired with a reel that you might have seen before it doesn't really get talked a lot i mean i don't know if it really hit the mark you know hit the market and, and it just kind of was just weird for a lot of people it is a Daiwa t3 this is a 7.1 to 1 gear ratio um it's a slick reel you press it down hood pops up and you can actually just engage the reel with just pressing down the hood um it also has the t-wing system in it you know, this is the first reel to have the uh, the T-Wing. This one's actually one of the first ones from Japan. Um, it, it, it casts a mile. It's got the 1016 spool in it. It's got the side uh, mag here. Then underneath, it's got the 3D mag here, which, which you can change to uh, long cast, overall, and then max break by just clicking it. You usually just keep it in the middle. Um, it, it's a casting machine. I can bomb this. This is a half ounce Omega football with the uh, green pumpkin bile crawl trailer you can see it's been pretty beat up this is just a uh it's an extremely long ride because when you're making those really long casts when those fish bite you want to have that extra length to uh, set the hook so you can get that extra length the sweeping motion of setting the hook um you know i'm, I'm throwing it on this is 17 pound cigar tatsu um, typically, I go 17 pound, or I'll even go down to 15 pound, um, either Seaguar, Brazex, or Tatsu. Um, <clears throat> I just want something with a little bit less stretch because when you're making those long casts and dragging them on, you know, rock beds, Kentucky Lake, we drag, drag them on shell beds. Um, even up north, we kind of snap them off out of, you know, grass beds and, and weed lines. Um, but this is definitely my premier football jig ride. I have used it this time of year. Uh, we have some of these power plant lakes down south in Illinois. Uh, a lot of guys will throw a spoon on this rod. It is, you know, I've thrown a spoon a couple times on it. I just haven't ventured out chucking big spoons or flutter spoons and stuff like that. But I have done it a couple times and it does it really well. Uh, you can also throw like smaller jigs on it, you know, but this is my main football jig rod i mean you could even throw probably small a rigs carolina rig um it's a it's a great kind of overall rod that four power has got a nice soft tip to it so you can you can bomb a bait a mile um i i don't really throw big footballs i'll go maybe three quarter ounces the max on this uh i have other rods that i can throw a three quarter to an ounce that just don't get overworked by the rod um, but yeah, this is it. This is a Daiwa T3 Interesting rye reel. I've got a few of these They're pretty fun to use because once you start using them Once you go back to a normal style reel you want to push the hood down, but they don't have it But it's a pretty slick reel it just doesn't get talked about a lot and uh, I don't think it did you know extremely well, but I love them. I mean, it's it's a neat reel. It's like seven ounces um, Killer flipping reel but they cast a freaking mile. Check it out. It's Dobbins DX784C Daiwa T3. This is my football jig combo. Check it out, guys. Give us a like down here. Post in the uh, comment section of what you guys want to see later on once we get done with these. Um, you know, like us on Instagram, Facebook. And uh, we might see you at some of the uh, boat shows coming up. Talk to you guys later.